tonight's gonna be something kind of different. Mm -hmm. Something we haven't done in a while. Yeah, caffeine. Caffeine, because it's gonna be a late one. We are actually going to a concert. We have not been to a concert in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, a yeah, it's been, it's been a while. We are going to the Tampa Amphitheater um, and we're gonna see Hall and Oates. We are excited. I don't really think I can film a whole lot because of the copyright issues, but we will give you a tour of the amphitheater in case you ever want to go down there. You ready for this yeah. long night? Excited. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. We made it and we were able to park, so you kind of exit off here and then they've got you coming in here and parking's all right through here. And it's located right here at the Florida Fairgrounds. Now a couple things here. One, we got lawn seats because we want to see if it's worth it to pay the lower price and sit in the lawn rather than pay the expensive price and set the seats. Two, we're going to show you the venue. So we're going to show you how the rental chairs work. Um, we're going to show you the food they offer and we're going to show you the merch. So it's going to be quite the experience for us tonight. Kind of all new stuff. Now, just like some of these people up here walking in, you can bring your own chairs, which we did, um, but, the, but they're small. So yeah. they're, they're really small because it says there is a limit on it. Um, but it I'm says- just saying don't bring like excessively big chairs that are gonna block other people's. Feet. Right. But I, to rent a chair, it's only $10 a piece. So we're gonna give it a try. Here is the bag policy. Only clear ones, and they're small. All right here's the box office, which we already have our tickets. We got them online. All right, we're gonna scan our ticket, which it's all digital. They don't want you to print them out anymore. And then I already see merchandise and some drinks, and then we'll figure out the chair situation when we get in. All right, here's some cocktails. Here's showing that it's Hall and Oats today. On their sign, they got Hall and Oats, Maroon Five coming in, Zach Brown Band. And then let's check out the merch. See what kind of cool shirts they got. Zoom in here, see if we can get some of these shirts. It's hard to tell from back here, but you can kind of see the prices. $35, 40, 35, 40, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. Here's that signage again of Hall & Oates on 9, 2021. 20, we have craft beer, ice cold beer, frozen drinks. It's, it's like, it's like it's carnival. Um, we went to a Toby Keith concert. Oh yeah, it does in remind me of that. St. Louis. It does remind me of that. Fresh squeezed lemonade, corn dogs, funnel cakes, Bavarian pretzels, and then over here you can see are the restrooms. So it's not all porta potties, which is actually really nice. Um, specialty cocktails, and then there's the lawn seats. So we'll be heading up that way. All right, we just found out that the rental chairs are at the top up here. But look, there's a taco shop. We're gonna head right up here and get our chairs. I have no idea what kind of chairs they are either. Again, we're sitting in um, lawn seating and there's no no assigned seats. Just kind of find your own. However, it's a very large lawn. So for this concert, I don't think we'll have any issues. It's all like sloped. Yeah, it's sloped and you're way up tall there. Now, I wanna just take a peek at the stage right here. This is what the venue looks like and I know something I was trying to look earlier so all of the seats are covered you're covered really the lawn is the only thing uncovered so if you're looking to find a seat in here and you don't want to get you know rained on or whatever go for these seats and then also something I was trying to look at before is the sun on like hot days are going to hit you on essentially the right side it looks like of the stage the left side looks pretty shaded let's get a zoom in of the stage there this is interesting. I, it looks like maybe T-Mobile has sponsored free lawn chair rental. If you look, it's exclusively for T-Mobile people. So we're gonna have to go over here to the actual chair rentals. That's cool though, if you're a T-Mobile person, that's, that's really nice. There's a big screen right there. Oh, there's a huge screen right there. So these are the chairs. They're $10 a piece. Pretty good setup. And you can see we're pretty well spot on. If we zoom in, we'll be able to get a good show. Um, again, these were about, when I first looked, half the price of what just one of the back tickets were. So 
you do get to save some money. There you go. And what I like about these though, is if we get a drink, you have the cup holders and then check it out. They've got the two screens, which really make it helpful. And they actually have drink places in the lawn. So I really like that. This is going to be cool. Um, I think, I think lawn was the way to go. Hey, good call. Lawn was the way to go. Now, if it was raining, I'd be saying something different, but again, hopefully you guys can see what the amphitheater looks like and that'll help you choose what tickets to get because i had to kind of do some research but over here's more shaded over here's more sunny all the seats are covered you might get a little wet on the sides but lawn lawn's huge it's currently monday september 20th and the concert starts at seven o'clock um the openers are a group called squeeze which i've never heard of before so I'm sure Hall & Oates will start maybe at 7.30 or 8. And i um, not sure when it'll get over, but it'll be a late night for us. Um, right now I'm gonna go to the other side of the venue to see what all they have on that side. So if you do wanna set a little closer, lawn seats come all the way over here, which essentially for the price difference isn't really that bad. You can kind of get a closer show. What I could tell from online is this side looks essentially like the other side they kind of copy each other which is nice because you don't have to choose one side over the other you can just go to whichever side you're closer to um, i'm gonna go to the restroom to see what those are like and then i don't know what else i don't know if we'll buy anything today um and i don't know if we're gonna get drinks or food or what the deal is what's nice for a big venue is it actually shows where you're supposed to enter and where you're supposed to exit over on this side they've got pizza they've got fan favorites Let's go see if the merch is the same. I assume it is. They've got picnic tables you can um, set out on and eat. And then over here, smaller line. There's a VIP club that way. Smaller line. Let's see if we can see if they're the same or different. Looks like the same. So it looks like Timber wants to get a shirt right here. We're gonna go with this number eight, Hall and Oats. Okay, so it's almost seven, so squeeze should be getting on stage here anytime i went ahead and got the shirt um we'll show you it here in a little bit um it's 35 dollars so of course the merch is going to be a little more now as far as the restrooms they were good now there's no air so there were fans but it wasn't like a porta potty so it's cool they've got some decent restrooms here as you can see the lawn is starting to fill up now i assume as the concerts gets started we'll see more people fill in all right i made it back and before the music starts this is what our seats look like sitting here and you can see more and more people are filling in but here's what the shirt looks like that's a cool one i like how simple it is so here's what the shirt looks like on and that is a small so pretty standard fit feel good it actually feels like nice material you know sometimes you can get these shirts that are just eh. yeah and that's not washed either we are getting the people Filling into all these spots now. You can see the sun's down. It's actually a perfect night. What is it, 70s? Now they said, typically the concerts get over at 11. So it is gonna be a, it's gonna be a late one. See this guy in the red here? He's got a sign that says hot Cuban sandwiches. And then I saw some other drink vendors walking around here, so. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. So just in between songs, I want to say that Cuban sandwich was ten dollars, and they do card and cash. Cheers, my please. I also want to make note that the lawn seating—you have quite a bit of leg room, which I'm all spread out. And usually in the other seats, my knees hit the other seat. Look at that sunset over there, and look, there's the Hard Rock Hotel. Very nice night tonight. I love this part when all the band members do their little thing.
Okay, it's currently 8.17, so they played for about an hour and 20 minutes. And I assume at 8.30 is when Hall & Oates will come on. Um, it is very crowded now, which is good. I'm glad there's people out and about, but I mean... It's still very smoky. <laughs> kind of smoky. Um, but it is, I mean, there's a ton of people. All those seats are down there are filled. What do you think so far? I actually knew a Squeeze song, Tempted. I love that song. So they did great. I like that little mashup at the end too. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. I'm super excited though. All on Oats. It's almost nine o'clock and now they're finally starting. So far, so good. <laughs> I like to hear that. Like Alright, here's a... What are we doing now? Oh, a rock and soul? Oh, no. Yeah, rock and soul song. Okay. Rock and soul. Not rockets. Guitar. And Florida's own Mr. Casual, Charlie DeShare on saxophone. All the way from Orlando, Florida. Right, well, thank you guys for coming out tonight. It's great to be back here in Tampa. Alright, we're going to do a song uh, that, goes, uh, that we recorded on the Voices album that goes way back before that. It was written by a great uh, New York songwriting team, Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde. And uh, goes something like this. I'm on it. You're trying hard not to show me. I'm sure you know. I think you know. 
But everybody's high on consolation Everybody's high on consolation And she's gone Oh my oh. She's gone So it's currently 10.05. There are some people just jamming out, dancing during these songs. It's quite the show. You actually get a show within the inside of the show. Way rowdier than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Same movement on the stage.
All right, we're leaving, and now you can see the swarm of people heading towards the exits. But it is 10.30, so it did not go till 11. So that's good news for us as far as heading home. I think the thing is, since concerts and events haven't been open, it's kind of weird to see so many people in one place. Again, another update of the everybody leaving at once. So something funny is like literally right after the first song, if you're familiar with 70s and 80s crowds, you probably can use your imagination to know what was being... The recreational activity going on outside of just the concert. Yeah, and we're not talking drinking. Another form of something. Um, in case you didn't get it, right after the first song, <laughs> Daryl Hall, act like I know the guy, Daryl, gets, gets done with the song and says, Oh, you got the reefs out. <laughs> Literally after the first song. Now, one thing also, as we're heading back to the car, just make sure you know where you park. We actually do, but there's probably some people, if we don't get ran over by this car behind us, there's probably some people that have no idea where they parked, but we do. Made it back to the car to do the outro because it's still crazy outside. What'd you think? Yeah, I loved it. Got your shirt on? Got my shirt on. Yeah, it was great. Loved it. It's good to be back at concerts. Uh, the crowd was very interesting, but they did sound good and they sang all their hits besides the one and the lights are going off. Hey. Besides the one. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know that it's like a hit top hit. They sing all their top hits. So. Yeah. Well, and hopefully you got an idea of the venue. It was really nice. It didn't rain, perfect weather, but you could kind of see they had a lot of food options and everything was great. So. I cannot believe that they are in their mid-70s. What's yeah, their ages? John is 73 and Daryl is 74. That is unreal to me that they are that yeah, old. They were, they were going for it. Daryl just had to go, ah! <laughs> and the crowd just went crazy. <gasps> it was pretty fun. Yeah. It was just a fun atmosphere, fun experience, pretty laid back and heard all the good songs. Yeah, I would, it was cool. It was sinking good and I would definitely it go back again. Good. It was sinking good. You go back, oh, yeah. I'd go back. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So hopefully you learned something from our little experiment adventure down to see Hall and Oates. By the way, we're 90s kids, so we still love our Hall and Oates. There was plenty of people of all, ages. all ages. So, but anyway, it's going to be a late night, so we're going to head home. That does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.